In a lengthy news conference at City Hall, Mayor Catherine Pugh said she's setting her agenda, mandating adequate numbers of city police officers on patrol duty. I want everyone who has the capacity and the capability who has been hired by our police department to patrol, to get on patrol, and let's get Baltimore safer. Police Commissioner Kevin Davis said 100 more officers are being added to patrol, reassigned from other duties. He also unveiled a 2017 crime strategy, which will put teams of so-called discretionary detectives in the highest crime zones. And they're going to be responsible for meaningful productivity, case closures, and good arrests in those zones. Davis downplayed similarity to prior targeted enforcement efforts, disbanded due to high numbers of citizen complaints. The mayor drew a line with the police union suggesting the city will not budge on its demand to change the union contract and allow citizens on police disciplinary trial boards. Civilians sitting on our trial boards are important to the neighborhoods, important to the communities. They've asked for it, and we're going to make sure that they have it. Pew said she expects the federal consent decree mandating reforms for the police department to be done by next week, ahead of the change in administration in Washington. Well, that's our hope. Um, it's close the gap it's so Loretta Lynch can come on by. Loretta Lynch, of course, is the United States Attorney General. The union, the police union this week, claimed that the police department is what it called a tipping point because of staffing levels. Commissioner Kevin Davis today called that remark offensive. The city is trying to get rid of four-day, 10-hour shifts that were negotiated with the police union. The mayor cited the high amount of police overtime. How much? $1.6 million, she said, every two weeks. Reporting live tonight from City Hall, I'm Jane Miller, WBAL-TV 11 News. Jane, thank you.